In a previous video, we talked about abstract accounts and how they can be used to enable smart contracts to send and pay for transactions. One of their use cases is having cron transactions that are like cron jobs for the blockchain. Any blockchain can implement cron jobs by adding a hook each time a block is added to the chain. In the following demo, you will see a cron precompile that I programmed to enable cron transactions for smart contracts. Let's first look at what happens in the background. An account that can be an externally owned account or a smart contract uses the cron precompile to register a cron transaction. For this, the contract provides the transaction data such as the target contract address, call data, value, gas limit, and an epoch identifier. The cron precompile communicates with the cron module that can register and cancel cron transactions. The cron module stores the cron transaction data and returns a cron identifier. This cron module has a hook into the epochs module that announces when an epoch has passed. The cron module then checks if it has jobs to run for that type of epoch and runs them. If the job is a transaction to be sent, it sends it through the abstract account module, which handles transaction fees and signatures. This abstract account module then sends a transaction to the EVM module where it is executed and the target contract is called with the call data that was given in the cron transaction registration. The receipt is sent back to the cron module and an event is emitted. This is the demo. We have a DAP with a direct interface to the cron precompile for simplicity. We have deployed a target contract that contains a value that can be incremented with the increment function. Right now, this value is zero. We will register a cron transaction for a 30 second epoch with an ID of one for this target contract and a call data, which is the signature of the increment function. A value of zero, gas limit 100,000, gas price 10. And we confirm the transaction. We should see a log telling us that the cron transaction has been set and this is it. And now we wait for the next 30 second epoch to pass. And here it is. And we can see it's running the cron transaction with ID 1. And the transaction should be included in the next block. And now we have a value of 1. We wait for the next 30 second epoch and we should see a value of 2. Here it is, the next 30 second epoch, the cron transaction should be running again. We wait for it to be included in the next block. And now the value is two. Of course, in a production system where anyone can register cron transactions, we can enforce longer epoch durations or require governance approvals for shorter durations. You have seen a demo using trustless protocols, abstract accounts demoed in a previous video, and an epochs module implemented with the Cosmos SDK. The epochs module can be implemented in any blockchain, including Ethereum. You have seen transaction automation with respect to time, and it can be one time every hour, day, week, month, year, etc. Cron transactions are a powerful tool for next generation blockchains.